So with Zack Snyder's Justice League coming out in a couple of weeks, I'm really hyped. I thought this would be a fantastic time for the algorithm to go back and watch Zack Snyder's previously most infamous film, Watchmen. Honestly, there's a lot of different ways this video could have gone. I could have compared the ultimate break to the ultimate standstill between the comedian and Rorschach. Or you know, the many, many ways Ozymandias' plan was doomed to fail. He's a dumbass. However, I thought now would be a fantastic time to address one of the greatest misconceptions to exist between the pages of this comic. See this guy, this beautiful blue son of a bitch right here. Can't see the future. He can. I mean, he can, just not the way everyone thinks he can. Dr. Manhattan doesn't see the future, he just experiences it. Us people perceive time as a linear construct. Last week I saw a sign for cheap self-serve Chinese. Last night I found out they did $5 Thursdays. Tonight I'm enjoying a sweet, succulent Chinese meal. And tomorrow I'm going to be praying to a god I don't believe in to get me off a porcelain seat. It's a chill. By the way, shout out Mega Chop Bathurst. We experience time in a linear fashion. So we force this perspective onto others without considering the alternative. Compared to how we experience time, yes, Dr. Manhattan can see the future. But in all actuality, He's just perceiving his present. Dr. Manhattan doesn't experience time in a linear fashion, but rather he experiences it all at once, all of the time. To Dr. Manhattan, past, present, and future are all one and the same. And that's why he can't change the future. Because to him, it isn't. Dr. Manhattan can't change tomorrow any more than I can change yesterday. It's July 1959, and I'm in love. It is Christmas, 1963. It is September 4th, 1970. I'm tired of being caught in the tangle of their lives. This sequence is important for understanding Dr. Manhattan's motivations as a character, but it also allows us, the viewer, to understand time from the perspective of Dr. Manhattan. Language is really important in this sequence. It's July, 1959, and I'm in love. It is Christmas, 1963. It is September 4th, 1970. Because if you notice, he never actually describes the end of one of these memories. He just keeps flowing them through each other. And he also never uses past tense. He keeps saying the is opposed to the year was. I'm lying to her, not I lied to her. He's not remembering these events. He's experiencing them all at once, all of the time. I feel this is a greater metaphor for most superhero arcs in general. Marvel's third Spider-Man film hasn't even begun filming yet, but I'm pretty sure I can already tell you how it's gonna end. You'll be fine. You might be in trouble. <gasps> but you'll be fine. Saying there's predictability in our media isn't exactly a hot take. So what's the point of it all? This is a pretty big spoiler for Watchmen. So you know. Spoiler warning. Towards the latter end of the movie, Laurie goes to Dr. Manhattan to ask him to save the world. Now, before the conversation even begins, he tells her exactly how it's going to end. It ends with you in tears. Tears. But they continue anyway. Now I could go through this step by step, but much like the conversation, there isn't really a point. Dr. Manhattan doesn't decide to save the Earth until Laurie finds out that her father is the comedian and breaks down crying. No. Will you smile? If I admit I was wrong. And that's the point. If I dared attach a greater metaphor to how Dr. Manhattan experiences time, I would call him the viewer. Like Dr. Manhattan, the majority of us already know how this story is gonna end, and most of us have already seen it. And we can't change the story any more than he can. And like Dr. Manhattan, when the story's over, we get to just leave. We don't love people just to lose them. We don't live just to die. And we don't open a book just to close it. Dr. Manhattan already knew how the conversation was gonna end. He already knew the comedian was Laurie's father and that she was gonna cry. But knowing doesn't impact him. Experiencing does. To experience the story, to experience the emotions, and to bear witness to arcs complete. Watchmen to me was a fantastic experience. And I hope you get to experience it too. Hey, if you enjoyed this experience, you should share, like, and subscribe, and ring that bell notification if you want future notifications. Kind of its purpose. If you have any opinions of what I talked about today or disagree with me, comment that shit down below. I nearly just used my own hands. No, I didn't. 
That was mystery hands. <laughs> Ignore that face behind me. If you have any opinion on Watchmen, comment that shit down below. Otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic day and a wonderful time. All that stuff, yeah.